Namaste. Today, I am going to be talking about low sugar episodes or hypoglycemia. Anything hypo means low or less. So, hypoglycemia is low sugar. Being a diabetic, at least once in a while, these uh, low sugar episodes are experienced by lot of patients. But at times, it could be very scary, very frightening and could lead to life-threatening complications. So, it is extremely important that these symptoms of hypoglycemia are recognized early so that the untoward complications could be avoided. Uh, in many patients, they occur in a stepwise manner. In a few well-controlled diabetics, these hypoglycemias do not occur unless until there is a reason. So in today's video, I shall be talking about the causes of these episodes, low sugar episodes and the way to recognize them early and treatment. So hypoglycemia by definition is blood sugar levels less than 70 mg per dl. But many a times uh, the symptoms could be observed even when the sugar levels are little more higher, you know, around 80s and 90s, some people do experience these symptoms. So, in these people, blood sugar levels may be very high in most of the times. They are elevated in such a way that when it is hitting even 90, they could feel these symptoms. When the blood sugar levels are falling down, the counter-regulatory hormones or the cortisols, kind of come into action. The adrenaline, which is the fight or the flight hormone. There is an adrenergic rush in your body. So there is profuse sweating, there is palpitation, your heartbeat starts racing, you feel very uncomfortable, there is irritability and so on. After this, the uh, brain starts sending out signals because brain is uh, dependent on its glucose for its energy. And when glucose is lowered in the blood, brain starts sending out signals. So you feel irritable, anxious, sometimes uh, confusion, loss of coordination, inability to talk, blurred vision, um, slurred speech. And if the blood sugars are falling further down, it could lead to unconsciousness, at times seizures or fits and further progressing to coma. So it is important that early itself these symptoms are recognized. Many a times these symptoms could be confused with other comorbidities. If at all a heart attack is setting in, you feel that discomfort or palpitations. Or if at all there is a stroke, these kind of seizures or uh, unresponsiveness could occur. So it is important that you check the blood sugar levels with a glucometer that time to rule out if it is only low sugar happening or if it is something else setting in. In some patients, even these symptoms may not occur. This is called hypoglycemia unawareness. Certain medications which are used for diabetes and heart conditions may lead to hypoglycemia unawareness and your doctor may talk to you about these drugs before giving it. So, even slight symptoms, make sure that you check your blood sugars. Routinely, these issues do not occur. There is a reason when these hypoglycemic episodes occur. Talking about the causes of hypoglycemia, usually a balance in the body is maintained. Your medications or the insulin, everything is dependent on your energy expenditure as well as the calorie intake. On a routine day, how much ever food you are eating and whatever exercise you are doing or the calorie that you are spending, your dosage of medications and insulin is dependent on that. But at times, we tend to exercise more. Today, you are walking for half an hour. Uh, if at all you hit a gym or, and uh, you've been exercising for two hours or so, uh, your energy expenditure is more. So, the blood sugar will tend to go down. Now, if someday you don't feel like eating because of some loose motions or vomiting or fever 
or you have a fast that day you took the medicine there are chances of hypoglycemia because you've not given the calorie for your insulin to act on these are the very common reasons for hypoglycemia occurring so furthermore very very tight control of uh, diabetes and especially in the elderly people can lead to these hypoglycemic episodes more importantly if at all there are some organ dysfunctions occurring in the body for example liver failure or kidney disease these things also could lead to hypoglycemia because kidneys excrete insulin if kidneys are not able to excrete that extra insulin the insulin will build up and lower your sugars i always say if at all hypoglycemias are occurring in a very well controlled person without any other reason think about a renal disease now talking about infections like malaria or severe sepsis or drugs like quinine which is uh, used in malaria these could also lead to hypoglycemic symptoms excessive alcohol intake also is a major reason for hypoglycemia so these are the common factors which could lead to hypoglycemia in a pretty well controlled diabetic person so avoid these issues and if at all hypoglycemia is still occurring in you you need to visit your doctor and readjust the dose the dose that you are taking is becoming too much for you in a non diabetic also hypoglycemia could occur though they are very very rare at times insulin producing tumors of the pancreas are there which are called insulinomas or some pituitary adrenal insufficiencies are there these are some rare causes of hypoglycemia which could occur in non diabetics now talking about the treatment of hypoglycemia the minute you recognize that your sugars are going down if at all you have an access to a glucometer check your blood sugar levels uh, because if you are just feeling uncomfortable and uh, sweat profuse sweating and uh, you know raising heartbeat or palpitations it could be a heart attack or it could be a low blood sugar so low blood sugar could be treated with eating sugar but a heart attack should not be missed that is why i say that if at all you are feeling any of these symptoms you are conscious you are at home you have a glucometer along with you please do check your blood sugar and remember the rule of 15 usually we say that 15 to 20 grams of fast acting carbohydrates you need to eat recheck blood sugar after 15 minutes and if at all blood sugar levels are further low less than 70 eat another 15 to 20 grams of fast acting carbohydrates so what are these fast acting sugars or carbohydrates a candy or four glucose biscuits or a fruit juice with two spoons of sugar or a tea or a coffee with uh, some sugar in it should help you so these you should do only if you are absolutely conscious if at all a person is unresponsive do not try to feed him or put anything in his mouth because it could be extremely dangerous it could lead to a pneumonia or the food that you are giving may go into the wind pipe leading to aspiration pneumonia which could be very dangerous people who are very vulnerable to these hypoglycemic episodes who include people with liver disease or kidney disease uh, the geriatric population or the elderly people they must have glucagon injections in their home so this glucagon injection they come in a prefilled syringe uh you can inject it anywhere just inject it as an insulin the one shot of glucagon could increase the sugar levels to 25 to 30 mg per dl and you may have enough time to feed him or take him to the hospital so it is important that you have these injections at home ready the third most important thing to do is visit your doctor talk about your hypoglycemia and try to readjust your doses the doses of medicine prescribed for you is very high for you probably because of your recent exercise or decreased intake 
or probably some other comorbidity setting in. So the dose adjustment need to be perfect so that these episodes can be prevented. Small frequent meals could definitely help you prevent hypoglycemias. Be consistent with uh, your food intake as well as your energy expenditure. Make sure that the way you follow your routine is pretty much the same. Always carry some candies with you. Whenever these episodes are ha happening, they could prevent a fatal event from occurring. Make sure that you share about your diabetes and your condition to your colleagues and your family members. Please do not skip meals and whenever you are sick, your intake is not much. Reduce the amount of insulin that you take or the uh, hypoglycemic drugs that you take. To summarize, be aware of the symptoms. The minute you feel that you are feeling uh, uncomfortable, extremely hungry, profuse sweating and palpitations, please check your blood sugars. If found low, please have uh, 15 grams of fast acting carbohydrates or 4 glucose biscuits or some fruit juice or uh, coffee tea with sugar. Be consistent with the daily food intake as well as the exercise and work that you do. Take care. Bye.